In this video, we're going to be looking at Google Drive. As with a lot of the different Google platforms, things are going to look slightly different in your personal Google Drive and your school or workplace Google Drive. I'm currently in a school account. So on the upper left, you'll see there's this priority, activity, and workspaces. They're just three different areas of your Google Drive. In your personal drive, you might see home at the top. Um, it's kind of a new feature. It's they are, They're calling it your Google Drive home screen. I'll be honest, I typically just work here we're in my drive, and I think that you'll find that's um, a pretty common place to start. So I'm here in my drive. Um, other things to know are how you're going to view your Google Drive. I prefer to view my drive in what they call grid view. So that means as I scroll through, you'll see things are organized in a grid. Another common way to view it is list view. So in the upper right, you can change from grid to list. And list view is just that. It creates a list of all of the things that are in your, in your Google Drive. It's really just personal preference, whichever makes more sense to you. From your Google Drive, you'll have this option for new. When you click on new, you can either create a new folder, upload a file or folder, or create a new uh, Google document, sheets, slides, forms, all kinds of things like that. For now, we'll start by creating a new folder, and I'm just going to call this my test folder. So I click create and you'll see here it is in the folder area. Now, once I've created that folder, there's a lot of options. Anytime you see three dots in Google, you know that's kind of a, a symbol for there's more options. You can click on those three dots and see some additional actions. Um, one of them is that you can rename. That's pretty common. You can also share the folder. So if I were to click share, it would decide, it would give me the option to either add a specific person or group to share it with, like by email address. I could also just get a link um, that anyone in the UARTS um, network could view the folder. I could also do anyone in anyone with the link, so not restricted to UARTS. Um, it could change view to commenting and editing, things like that. So you have all kinds of sharing options. Oops, let me get out of here. Um, back on that more actions, I can also organize, which means I can move my folder to other places of my Google Drive. Um, you can also put a star next to it. Now, I'll be honest, the star really shows up best in, um, in list view. I'll click star anyways. Um, so if I go to list view, you'll see the test folder now has a star next to it. And back to grid. And then the other option here is... Um, in organizing to change the color. I do this a lot. I'll color code my uh, folders. It just helps me find things quickly, especially if you have a lot of folders. It's just a nice way to do that. Now, one more trick that I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see here at the classroom and my Google level two. These all start, the, the uh, file names start with pictures, emojis. This is because when you're organizing your folders and files, it's organizing alphabetically. When we're thinking about the alphabetical order that computer's language is reading, you know, it goes A through Z, right? But before that is numbers, one through nine. And before numbers come emojis. So if you want something to be stuck at the top of your list or grid, put an emoji by it. And that's going to, to bring it to the very top. Um, I don't know. I like it. So, you know, Google levels one and two have the little computer symbols. It's just a way that helps me when organizing things. So you can use the colors for the folders. And again, you can also, um, you can also use emojis and numbers to help organize your folders. This works with folders and files. So you can even see here in my files, course feedback has a star next to it, sixth grade band, and then we get to the A for advanced. Okay, let's go into this folder. So here we are in the folder. I'm gonna create a new document create and share. And let's even just give this a title. So I have this test document. Now, since I was in the folder when I created it, it's automatically going to be stored there. Okay. Now I could also put a folder in a folder. So let's create a new folder, new folder. We're going to call this um, a sub folder. And now I have a folder inside of a folder. So again, subfolders. You can go as many layers deep as you want to. I can take this test document and I could put it into 
that subfolder or anywhere else by simply clicking those three dots, organize, move, and it'll come up with some suggested options. Then I'll show the stars and then all locations, but I'm going to put it for now in this subfolder, move. And now when I open that subfolder, there it is. Okay. So you can do that with any folders, any documents, anything that you have stored here in your Google Drive. Now, something else that you might want to do is sometimes I have files that I want in multiple places. Um, maybe I want to have it in my Google level one folder and the Google level two folder, but I don't want to have two copies of it because that just seems silly. So instead what I'll do is I'll create a shortcut. Okay. So to do a shortcut, same kind of thing. We're going to click on the three dots for more actions, organize, I'm going to go to add shortcut. So now I'm going to put this also into the test folder as a shortcut. So here I am in my subfolder. There's the test document. I go back to my test folder and there it is as a shortcut. I can tell it's a shortcut because it has that little curved arrow. So anytime something's a shortcut, you're going to see that. Okay. Um, and it just means that it's you're able to access it from multiple different folders, but the original we know is here in that subfolder. Now let's talk about some other places that you might want to use those shortcuts. Let's say somebody has shared something with you. So I'm gonna go over to the shared with me. And let's see, here's something that has been shared with me, this sub choice sheet. Well, I can find it here in my shared with me folder, but honestly, shared with me folders are just a mess. I don't recommend really spending much time there. If this is something that I think I'm going to be accessing a lot and I really want, I can add a shortcut to my drive. So I'm going to click on more actions. And I'm going to go down to organize, add shortcut. And it's going to now say, where do you want it to go? Let's put it in that test folder, add. Now let's go back to my drive, go to the test folder, and there it is. You can see it's a shortcut once again. Okay. Um, you might notice I've been using this left navigation menu a bit. Here's my drive. If I expand this, it's going to show the different folders that I have in my drive. If I expand the test folder, it's going to also show subfolders. And what's kind of neat is from here, I can also navigate um, and kind of move things around. So it's nice to have access over here on the left-hand side. Okay. So those are the basics for Google Drive, navigating things. Always use these three dots here on the left. Um, once you're in an actual file, you do have a couple additional options. Again, like renaming, making copies, moving it to the trash, things like that. Okay. Um, but my drive, again, is the kind of the, think of that often as your home page. You can navigate either on the left menu or simply by scrolling up and down. Decide if you want something to be in grid view or list view, and you should be in good shape.